What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 12. Sleeper picks. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna give you some of my top DFS sleeper picks, super low priced and low ownership players that could crush value this week and give your lineup an advantage over the field. These are risky plays meant for large tournaments only. Don't go all in on any of these guys. They are high risk, high reward picks. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL week 12. Let's take a look at the quarterback position. So my sleeper pick at the quarterback position is Jimmy Garoppolo from the San Francisco 49ers playing the New Orleans Saints, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Jimmy Garoppolo has averaged 17.6 fantasy points per game on the season. He gets an average of 2.1 rush attempts per game. He's only gonna be about 4% owned, projected at 17.3 fantasy points, here in week 12, he's 5,600 DraftKings salary, 1,200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 43 points scored in this game, with the 49ers favored by 9. So Jimmy Garoppolo has scored 25, 16, and 18 fantasy points in the last three games. He got 1, 5, and 1 rush attempts in those games. Now, Jimmy Garoppolo, I think, is in a great spot moving forward in the season with Christian McCaffrey opening up those passing lanes. He's got fantastic wide receivers. Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel. He has George Kittle as a tight end. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is set to have a fantastic end of the season. I think he could continue to put up 20-plus fantasy points and he's got a good matchup here this week. So I like Jimmy Garoppolo here versus the New Orleans Saints. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. Now, I was surprised with the low ownership on this play. I like Isaiah Pacheco from the Kansas City Chiefs playing the LA Rams, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They've been pretty good versus opposing running backs. But Isaiah Pacheco has scored 14 and 7 fantasy points in the last two games off of 15 and 16 rush attempts. And remember, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is out with a high ankle sprain for at least four weeks. And Isaiah Pacheco took over the backfield before that injury. But now that just means a few extra uh, rush attempts. So he could get close to 20 rush attempts in this game. Only going to be about 3% owned. He's projected at 10.7 fantasy points here in week 12. He's 5,500 DraftKings salary, 800 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 42.5 points scored in this game with the Kansas City Chiefs favored by 15 and a half. So considering that this most likely will be a running game script, I think Isaiah Pacheco could definitely get 20 plus touches in this one, score 15 plus fantasy points, low price tag, and his ownership is low. I mean, depending on how this game goes, he could score two or three touchdowns. He could be that guy that everyone wishes they played this week. He's an explosive running back. They want to give this guy the ball and develop him going into the postseason. So I like Isaiah Pacheco here versus the LA Rams. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you wanna enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. 
So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. My sleeper pick is Brandon Cooks from the Houston Texans playing the Miami Dolphins who have the ninth worst defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Brandon Cooks has averaged 10.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.3 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 82% of the snaps, only gonna be about 3% owned, projected at 10.1 fantasy points here in week 12. He's 5,200 DraftKings salary, 1,200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 47 points scored in this game, and they have the Texans trailing by 14. So this will probably be a passing game script as the Texans try to claw back from a 14-point deficit. I think they're going to play most of this game behind at least one or two touchdowns. So they're going to be throwing the ball. I think Brandon Cook's going to get 10 plus targets in this game. He scored 10 and 8 fantasy points the last two games up of 6 and 7 pass targets. So just out of the volume alone that I think Brandon Cook's is going to get and it's a pretty decent matchup. I like Brandon Cook's here versus the Miami Dolphins. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. So now I do think George Kittle could be a sleeper pick here, guys. Only going to be about 4% owned. Scored 24 fantasy points off of six pass targets last game. Now he's 5,300 DraftKings salary. The only thing that puts me off of this play a little bit is the New Orleans Saints do have a good defense defending opposing tight ends. But I do think he's got plenty of upside in what I think is going to be a good game for Jimmy Garoppolo. So I like George Kittle. But I also like Noah Fant from the Seattle Seahawks playing the Las Vegas Raiders, who have the sixth worst defense overall. They give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Noah Fant has averaged 6.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 3.8 pass targets per game. He's gonna be about 6% owned, projected at 7.3 fantasy points here in week 12. And I like this pick because he's only 3,200 DraftKings salary. Now he's 1,900 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 47.5 points scored in this game with the Seahawks favored by four. Noah Fant has scored six, 15, and four fantasy points in the last three games off of four, six, and two pass targets. So this is a great matchup, relatively high scoring game. I think Noah Fant can get a handful of targets here. Hopefully he finds the end zone, which will make him hit value pretty easily. So I like Noah Fant here versus the Las Vegas Raiders. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.